With hard hats and jerseys on, the Daniels construction crew in Toronto, like many other Canadians, are showing their support today for Humboldt. By now, most people know of the tragedy that claimed 16 lives, injuring 13 others in a bus crash last Friday. Jersey Day is an initiative started by a group of British Columbia hockey moms. Today, politicians, our breakfast TV and city news crews, and students across Toronto and the GTA are wearing jerseys in support. Anytime people are dealing with grief, one of the best things they can do is, is feel a connection to other human beings that provide that support networks. And we see that in support therapy and so many other things. So knowing that other people care, knowing that they understand, uh, makes anybody feel a, a lot better. Well, today we chose to have Jersey Day, not only just wearing our favorite sports jersey, but we have our kids wearing our own RJ Lang jerseys. And RJ Lang jerseys is shows that this is our community, this is our family, this is our support. And we want to show the empathy and the support that we have for the Humboldt Broncos, and we want to explain to the kids that they need to understand things, not in a morbid way, but more in a, in a way that if they're celebrating the successes and the, and the relationships that they've built in our own building. But not every school board has chosen to participate in wearing jerseys. Some have decided to leave that decision with a parent or guardian. In a written statement, Holton District School Board says they indicated to school principals, vice principals, that participation in Jersey Day should be a decision made between a parent, guardian and their child. We recognize that individuals may wish to honour and mourn in many different ways, and we respect these choices. We also know that parents' guardians determine whether their child participates based on their development level, age, etc. To clarify, there was no ban on participating in this activity. York Region District School Board also says they are leaving it in the hands of the guardian, adding parents have the right to communicate or not communicate with their children about tragedies like this. Many schools are participating in Jersey Day, some explicitly, some more subtly. The board has asked that schools make a local decision and to be aware of any trauma students may have. There is no ban, a strategy one expert agrees with. Sometimes you have to wonder what age a child is ready for those sorts of discussions. And so I think it is good to leave that in the hands of the parents and especially this openness to different ways of doing it. So I, I, I like that um, the school boards are being you know, open about allowing students to, to make the choices, allowing parents to choose what level to discuss this with.